Bills. We lost Robin Williams yesterday. Um, depression and addiction. Addiction is frustrating. You try and you try and you try and you keep falling. And um, sometimes you just can't get up. Sometimes you just say screw it. I also think um, he was. I think if you read the poem Richard Corey, you see a lot of what's going on. Sometimes when you're rich, you end up in a uh, in a spot by yourself, and um, you don't actually want to be in that spot by yourself. But that's where you end up, and that's. What I think happened to um, Robin Williams? He was a he was an awesome actor. Um, I think he uh, I think he chose to laugh instead of cry more than often than not. And I think a lot of times when he was laughing, he wanted to cry. And I think we was. I think we, as the public, was caught up in the um, laughter and the jokes, and we missed the the pain that he was feeling. And I don't think the general public really understands his level of pain. Um, As he said, he had demons and spirits, whatever, that he was dealing with, and... um, I once asked a, a gentleman one time that there's a correlation between uh, poverty and abuse and depression and, and creativity, and he said there is, and um, I, I think it's true. I think a lot of really uh, successful comedians are dealing with the twin twin demons of addiction and depression. I think they uh, kind of work against each other. It's a catch-22. You get depressed, and then you find something that makes you happy. But I once had an addict tell me one time, an addiction is a is an obsessive uh, desire. For any person, place, or thing. It's a uh, attempt to use something outside of yourself to make you happy inside yourself. And it don't work. Um, the, te- the suicide is a... Um, the final solution. And Robin Williams will be missed. Peace.